Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Driving Unicorns. So I'm here with Ivan. We're gonna check out his WRX in the back right here. Check it out. And before we start the video, make sure to stay tuned because I'm gonna release some merch very soon. My first merch ever. So yeah, it's gonna be ready probably this weekend or something, but I'm gonna announce it in another video. So you will see. All right, Ivan, thank you so much for coming and meeting with me today to show your car. So do you want to pop the hood open and then we can take a look at what you've done? I think it's a little dirty. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. That's what we like. We prefer when like you drive the car. All right, so I see a Cobb intake, some coilovers. Can you tell us more about what you've done to the, yeah, so the Cobb? I got a, the Cobb Stage 1 Plus kit, big SF intake for the WRX, yep. including the access port in the cab. And then up top, I bought some BC BR Series racing coilovers. Yeah, you can see that here in the corner. Sweet. Everything else is so far stock, but more to come. So do you have any power number right now? Uh, at the moment, I assume it's very close to stock. It is tuned, not through a hob, it's tuned through a stratified. Okay. Uh, so I'm making a little bit more power than stock. Power oh, okay. More so what's the power on these uh, stock? Like I 270, 260? Like under 270 stock, 260 right. something. Well, that's not too bad. At least going up the mountain, it was <laughs> pretty fast. Lighter car. I mean, I couldn't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I see a pretty cool wheel setup here and the coilovers make it not slam but pretty good yeah it is um, a daily driver so it is sitting about two fingers high or one and a half fingers high yeah and then uh for wheels i have Enkai tsvs yeah they're running 18 by 9.5 and a 38 millimeter offset perfect size if you want to do a upgrade which i did for the brakes i did a brembo sti swap brake or pod up front two pot rear yeah uh, and tires i'm running 255 40 r18s they are in the 500s good summer tire all around it is daily i don't track and I do do some road trips so they last long enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's what you want. I freaking love the color. It's yeah, bronze, the bronze. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bronze, so especially with uh, all the brake dust this kicks up. The bronze stay bronze yeah. looking. It does look good as I drive the car. Thanks for my girlfriend. She <laughs> told me to go get this. Yeah, it fits very well with the car and it's a really cool setup. All right, let's check out the rear. The cool taillights. So I have some Subi Speed. I'm not sure which model. But yeah. I do do sequential, which oh, I like a lot. Show that again. Nice. And then I do have the uh, nameless muffler delete. Yep. I did get the smaller tip. It was the very first mod I did, but now I'm, I really want to go with something bigger. Yeah, something I was gonna a little say, more obnoxious. <laughs> I was going to say, why smaller tips? Did the Subi Supply Go F1 light. Here in Canada, we have Subi Supply. Yep. Set up Subi Speed and a bunch of other small emblem and an eBay. Oh, uh, I like this. Dark Bill. Yeah. I couldn't tell it's eBay, but it's cool. The lip is eBay too, but a lot lower before. I am getting a replacement. It is coming down. Nice. All right, and I want to ask the question. Do you plan on getting an STI wing? <laughs> That's a big question. I'm on the debate of it. Yeah. It does, I know, fit the car, and I know a few WRXs that have the STI wing. Yeah. At the same time, it's not an STI. So. Yeah, okay, okay. But. No, I just wanted to know, but that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> I like the, the dog bill like that. It's It looks really cool, so. One day, though, a wing will come in. <laughs> or an STI. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or an STI, yeah, that would be great. Right. <laughs> Let's check out the interior now. So, any mods in here? So, besides the access port, nothing really. But, like, the shifter, I did there. I did the Cobb Stage 1 drivetrain kit, which includes the shift plate, the uh, shift stop, and the bearing. So, do you have the short shifter? It's not a short shifter. It's just to make the drivetrain less sloppy. Oh, okay, cool. But it does feel a lot better than stock. Uh, other than that, interior, I feel like it's the last thing I would do. Yeah. Where I definitely want to change the head unit, speakers, seats, much more, yeah. <laughs> it's a good interior. Looks pretty clean in here. I like this little guy here. <laughs> Sweet. So you said you did work to the headlights, right? What yeah, did I did do? the DO Dynamic C light conversion. Yeah. Right. So it does act as a turn signal, and it is white as a DRL. Okay. Right. Everything else is stock, so I still obtain the stock headlight and the uh, high beam. Yeah. But I also did the DRL harness, and I also painted out the housing light. Yeah, it's I love really how nice. It oh, out. I like it, and above the fog light too. Yeah. So I did get some Subi Supply Co turn signals. Yeah. It was the base model when I bought it. I did not get any of the fog lights or anything, so I did custom work, wired it in, the dash too. The license plate is moving. Is that normal? Oh yeah, I did hit it one time, but <laughs> it does steady itself. I'm not too worried about it. 
<laughs> Sweet. And you talked about the subwoofer at the back? Yeah, so, so the trunk's a little messy, but I do have a subwoofer wired to the head unit. Ooh. 10 inch. That's big. It is uh, very powerful for this size of car, yeah. but it does the job very well. That's dope. All right, and he's going to show us the exhaust note right now. <laughs> That sounds amazing. Yeah? I love the sound. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not quite like an EJ, but <laughs> don't want right. to get that rumble. <laughs> All right, let's get in the car. We're going to do inside the car and then some flybys, see how the power is. <laughs> All right, we're in the car. I love my seat belts. Pretty cool. I have this on here. <laughs> let's go for a drive. So it does do burbles and crackles. So what's nice about the tune is that I can be very obnoxious with it if I wanted to or if I just drive normally it wouldn't it doesn't do it can you choose or it's just a it's, hard it's to go? uh I gotta play around with the rpm range and the car kind of knows to do it okay but if I'm just cruising it's chill but if I if I downshift it usually does it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so did you ask the tuning shop, Stratified, right? Did yes. you ask them to do that? Yeah, or? it is just a tune. So I did click that box. That gives me the extra tune for burbles and crackles. Oh, okay. If you do go with Stratified, they also do give you uh, a second file that disables all that. And it's just a regular Oh, okay. Drive. So at the end of the day, it was still your choice to get the burble. It was burble. still my choice. I'm still a kid, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You can't do that off camera, you have to do that on camera. <laughs> Alright, I put my jacket on. It's pretty chilly up here. Let's make another video when you have your uh, stage two or yeah, stage two go with J pipe, louder exhaust, some more engine mods, maybe an intercooler. <laughs> I wanna see the transformation. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. And you'll see the video on YouTube and I hope it's gonna be a good one. I think it's gonna be a good one. I think so too. <laughs> Alright, thanks you guys for watching. See you in the next episode. Peace. You.